X23 in this outfit. I think it looks very good. I dig it a lot. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another DC Collectibles action figure review on the DC Collectibles DC Bombshells Wonder Woman. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it right now at Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now the figure I have is a review sample received by DC Collectibles at New York Toy Fair earlier this year, so thanks so much DC Collectibles. So I don't have the accessories that come with the figure, nor did this come in pack. Packaging, but I'm still very grateful to have it because I think it's an awesome figure. Anyway, let's get to the figure! And here's the DC Bombshells Wonder Woman figure, and I think this line is incredible. I actually love the whole concept. I remember seeing these comic book issues coming out, these variant covers with the DC Bombshells on there, and I was just thinking, man, these look great. Like, I, I want to start buying all of them. And I think I did pick up a few of them and just based off the covers. I just thought the covers were and the designs were incredible, so I'm just very ecstatic about these. Actually, really meant to review this figure a lot earlier but anyway uh, as you saw earlier she does come with accessories which I don't have uh, she comes with a mace interchangeable hands a shield I think there's another weapon as well but anyway let's take a closer look at this Wonder Woman figure so before talking about the figure I just wanted to show off some of the images that I pulled from online of DC Comics covers with the DC bombshells Wonder Woman on it and I really like this premise of the 1940s World War II concept designs for these I just think they look very cool cool and looking at how the head sculpt came out over here they did a fantastic job that looks gorgeous I really like the facial expression uh, the paint for the mouth and the teeth and everything look really good her eyes look great very nice flesh tone I mean, man it just very precisely well made figure over here with the paint apps and the sculpt look at her hair we have some nice blue highlights I really like how the deco came out right here it came out pretty clean and looking at the sculpt of the hair is really good too. I like how it's moving off to the side. Very nice little curls in there. I don't see any seams or any weird stuff like that. Maybe if I brighten this up, you can see the blue a little bit better. But yeah, man, that looks just very smooth. I'm really digging it. Then the rest of the figure looks great as well. Very nice cleavage and darken things up so you can see. It. Very, very nice. Nice sculpted W Wonder Woman symbol right over there. Uh, they could have added maybe a little bit more paint right there. That looks a little bit weird, but... The silver for the bracelets look really nice. Nice sculpted etched in details right there. I'm liking that. Looking very good. I love that we have shadowing effect. The red looks really good. We even get some shadowing effect on the red. Very nice, man. Really liking the flesh tone a lot too. Very cool. And the blue looks really good right here. Then she has her lasso, which I believe is removable. I haven't actually tried removing it. Oh, there it goes. Yep, so just put that right back in there. All right. And then the legs look really nice. I really like her long, beautiful legs. Very nice. Nice, subtle shadowing effect in there, too. Very, very subtle. Uh, this part does look a little on the chalky side, so we see that in a couple of parts of the figure with that elbow joint and then right over here as well. So that's, I guess, my biggest gripe. And then, yep, nice Wonder Woman bombshell nalgas. Not too shabby. Then the boots over here look really good. Nice glossy red paint. Nice white over them, too. I do like how the heels look over here. She does have little cute feet, and yeah, no, and we get one peg hole on the left side right there. You know, now that I really think about it, yeah, the feet could have been a little bit larger, you know. I prefer having a woman with smaller feet, but yeah, that, that just makes it a little bit tricky to stand. And I didn't mention that we get actually a nice pearlescent white right here on the collar. It's pretty tricky to pick up on the camera, but it is there. Very nice shimmery pearlescent white. Now one of my favorite parts about this figure is the articulation. I think DC Collectibles just crushed it with the articulation. Actually, this is probably my most favorite articulated figure from DC Collectibles, so hopefully they're all like this because I really dig it a lot. Now she does have a lot of bulky hair right here, so it is tricky to get her head to move up, but she does have a joint in there. D that does allow movement to look up that much. Uh, she can look down pretty far, yet side to side movement, and you do get head pivot. She has shoulder joints that move outward that much. They move all the way down. You can rotate them 360 degrees. She has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend all the way in. Look at that. Huh? Double jointed elbows on the female figure. Uh, wrist swivel hinges up and down at the wrist. She does have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. It will crunch forward some and back and you get a little bit of diaphragm pivot in there. She also has a waist crunching joint that actually works out pretty well. Moves forward that much and back pretty far too. She does have 
a hinge in the hip, which I really like a lot. So that can shift up and down. You can get her legs moving outward that much, and she will kick forward that far. She does have an upper thigh cut right there, so I really dig that. She has a double jointed knees that bend in very far, and no boot rotation. I thought there was gonna be boot rotation, but no boot rotation, but the ankles do move down, they do move up, and she does have ankle pivot. Now measuring out this Wonder Woman figure, you can see that she is standing over seven inches tall. And then for your Wonder Woman figure comparison, we have the DC Direct Wonder Woman from Terry Dodson's signature line, and then we also have uh, the Mattel's New 52 Wonder Woman, and then the Mayfex Movie Wonder Woman. But then just because, here's the DC Bombshells Wonder Woman next to the Marvel Legends Angela, and then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. So again, I really like this figure a lot. I guess my biggest complaint is the small feet, I guess, and a couple of little QC issues with the, you know, powdery white stuff or glue going on right over there, but I mean, that's a QC issue that could actually change for the retail versions. I don't really know if you already have this figure. Please let me know if you have that going on too, but man, I think this is a great line. I hope to get a hold of all of them. I think there's only four of them out there right now, unless I'm wrong about that, but I do think it's an amazing line. I highly recommend them. I think they're very awesome. I've actually had this figure on display on my shelf uh, for months now, so I really did mean to review this a lot earlier than I have. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the figure, and let me know which bombshell you like the most. I'm really liking the Wonder Woman a lot. The Harley Quinn's very cool, too. I also love Poison. I don't know. I, I, I really just like this whole premise all together. Anyway, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed. See you photo gallery over at toynewseye.com, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot.